there's a hair of mine on you. I'm gonna try and get it, but don't bite me, okay? She's gonna bite me. Following my hand, okay. How do I get it? Got it. You guys see this? <laughs> What up? Welcome back to another video. I have to be honest, today's video was not a planned video. This whole situation happened unexpectedly. I mean, I guess, right? Like, it's just another day in my life. These kinds of things happen to me, apparently. Yeah, let, let me just, like, explain what's going on. Oh my god, you guys! <gasps> That's a baby turtle! Are you alive? Oh my god, I just hit you. <laughs> it's alive. What? <laughs> oh my god, I know what happened. Wait, if you're alive and you're around, then there's more. And now I have to find them. Oh my god. I guess let's look for your siblings. <laughs> Alright, let's put you in some water. little guy right you guys just saw right now how um, he came into my life yeah he's doing great so I kept looking the whole rest of the day throughout the day and nothing I didn't find anything okay nothing there well dang I found the nest but they're gone oh no I have to find them now Let's see if there's any left. How did this happen? How many were in there? How many do I have to look for? Nope, they're gone. Really stuff, really. How did you let this happen? Nope, there's nothing there. The turtles have left the nest. Yeah, okay, cool. I, I need to stop digging and look. Where do you find baby turtles? Oh my god, a snail! <gasps> You're so tiny and cute! I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Gary. We're gonna name you Gary, alright? We're gonna put Gary over her. Watch out for the lizards. You stay in your house, Mr. Gary. What is that? Nope, not a turtle. I need help. Who wants to come over and look for baby turtles? Ooh, another snail. What are we gonna name you? We're gonna name you Squidward. Squidward, go join Gary. <laughs> another one? What? Yeah, okay, there's a lot of snails out today. It's probably because it rained. And that's probably why the turtles decided to emerge from the nest. How am I gonna find them? Oh, a bird. Oh my god, what if they get eaten by a bird? I need to hurry. <laughs> turtle? Nope, not a turtle. Another one. No, oh, what is this? Ew, it's a lug. Well, I kind of like them. <laughs> Look, you guys, I found a big slug. Show me your face. Ew, is that your butt? What are you eating? What are you pooping? Okay, I'm just gonna set you down over here. And may you live a long and fulfilling life. Seriously, it looks like a turtle. <laughs> this seems like a comfy spot for turtles. Mr. Turtles. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ooh, I found another snail. I shall call you 
SpongeBob. I found another slug. Let's wait till she's comfortable enough to show us her face. <laughs> oh my god, there's movement. Look up at the sky really quick. Okay, that's all we're gonna see of your face, huh? Well, may you live long and prosper. Bye, Gary. Bye, Squidward. If you guys see a turtle, tell her to come my way. And the next day, as soon as I woke up, I went straight outside and I kept looking for more turtles. Because I figured like there had to be more than one, right? And sure enough, this happened. You guys, uh, I found another one. Oh, you're so tiny. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa, your shell is like kind of deformed. You guys see that? The shell is like sticking. Oh no. Uh oh. That should be closed all the way. Oh no, you guys. Uh, I really hope there's no bugs in there eating at you. So here's this little guy a few days later. <laughs> like, look at how tiny it, it is. I've been calling it tiny so much that I think I'm gonna keep that as its name. So, um, everybody, this is tiny because. It's tiny, like it's the perfect name. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, we've been having some problems. Like, I can't get him to eat. I've been doing a lot of things to kind of help Tiny get a head start and, you know, recover. I think so far it's been worth it. I definitely see more energy. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get these little guys to eat some live food. So I'm putting in here some mosquito larvae. And there's a few blood worms in there and hopefully they'll eat. So I'm about to do a really quick veggie soak with Tiny and um, yeah, let's just let's get into it. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know what a veggie soak is, uh, but it's supposed to help malnourished turtles or turtles that won't eat or um, it helps with other things. There's many benefits to this. I'm going to put Tiny in so that she can absorb some of those nutrients. A lot of you are probably thinking right now, I'm like making turtle soup, but I'm not, okay, I promise. This is for your own good, okay, Tiny? Yes, you go swim in there and absorb some stuff. No, that's not for you. Leave Tiny alone. All the foam is, is not because it's hot, okay? It's because I blended everything and you know, it forms that foam. I'm gonna go ahead and add his little buddy in there so he's not too lonely and you know also because this guy's not eating either so I want him to benefit from this also all right so it's been a little over 30 minutes and that's that's enough so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and just go ahead and set them in their enclosure where I've been keeping them oh look at you all energetic whoa what a difference uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and place them back in their little enclosure and yeah I have to go run some errands I have to go to the vet actually I gotta go pick up um, Junior he's one of my doggies that doofus dislocated a bone jumping from this table there like it's not even that high but uh, yeah those are the kinds of things that happen to me apparently so I'm gonna go pick him up right Angie we gotta go pick up Junior I'm going home with him. Look you guys, there's a doggy eating some of the food that I took out. <laughs> All right, so I'm home with him. Here he is. He's still kind of out of it because they injected him with stuff so that he wouldn't feel anything when they popped his bone back in place. Uh, but here he is. This is the foot. It was really swollen like in the morning when he went to the vet. It was like three times that size. So it's really impressive that it's like back to normal now pretty much so the vet said that he pretty much needs to be on bed rest like for at least three days so he's gonna be here in the cage <laughs> for the next three days the vet said only to take him out so that he can like pee and eat and stuff but other than that he's not supposed to like walk they were gonna put a cast on him but um we're gonna try this whole bed rest thing first 
and hopefully it goes well and he won't need a cast. Alright Junior, that's gonna be your home for the next three days, alright? I love you boo-boo. Alright, we're gonna put some buddies in here with him so that he doesn't feel too lonely. And I mean, I have 10 dogs so we can like alternate them. So yeah, first up, we have Poppy go in there with him and keep him company, honey. So he's not too lonely. Poppy actually really likes to be in here. He sleeps here like a lot during the day, so to him, this is like nothing. This is like normal. <laughs> you wanna go in there too? All right, Candy's gonna go there too. All right, Candy, go in there with him. All right. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're so sweet to each other. It just melts my heart. So you guys in the comments go ahead and tell Junior to get better and to stop jumping off of high surfaces even though that wasn't really that high I don't really understand how that happened but uh, I mean I guess he didn't land right that's that's the only thing that makes sense to me like dude don't do that anymore okay I love you <laughs> I love when she does this <laughs> I love you too yes you too I love you too I love all of you. You're all my babies. I love you. Ow, I'm falling. <laughs> uh uh, no. Not yours. <laughs> Look what he's curious about. See, I, I mean, I don't think he's gonna like eat them, but I don't wanna risk it. So, off limits. What, what is he doing? What are you doing? Cats. It has been raining here for the past, uh, probably for the past week, like non-stop. And it is a uh, baby turtle season, you know, usually in the wild, baby turtles emerge from nests during mate, uh, mating season, no, during rain, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> during raining season. So that's pretty much what happened here. Look at that little leg. Oh, I love their legs. Boop. So its belly, as you can see, is starting to close up now. So that's really good. Compared to before, it looks great now. Oh, look at that little face, you guys. I'm like in love with this turtle. <laughs> I want to keep it. <laughs> it's my little buddy. Don't walk, okay? Because you'll fall. <laughs> so this is the size of a normal hatchling. And this is tiny quite a difference right so most likely this guy is a runt you know and because it has all these health problems I'm pretty sure that it is a runt so this little fellow right here is hiding inside the shell that's perfectly normal behavior for a hatchling and for many turtles actually most turtles have a shell for that reason so they can hide and tiny seems just really outgoing right now head sticking out you would think that she's a little bit more social less shy but that's not the reason see the shell is just so tiny that it can't actually fit its head inside so that's a big disadvantage this little guy has see if i poke his head he should be trying to hide in the shell but he can't and you can see right here towards the end the shell is kind of raised upwards and the bottom is like really wrinkly there's the bottom of tiny's shell and this guy's under shell is like really smooth and then tiny has like wrinkles and stuff so we have some deformities on this one but it's gonna be all right i'm gonna take care of you you know usually runs don't make it actually most runts don't even hatch because they're not strong enough to peep out of the egg but somehow this little fellow found the strength and then found the strength to emerge from the ground and found the strength to roam in my backyard long enough for me to find it already it has overcome so many challenges it's amazing and um, I, I'm very confident that tiny is gonna be okay and so are you so apparently Penelope made two separate nests and this is something that I've seen her do before and that's probably why I only found two turtles and I'm, I looked everywhere and I've been looking everywhere for like a week now and nothing so no more baby turtles unfortunately what I did see was the nest 
that I saw her lay partially uncovered and that's due to all the rain that we've had here lately and then I saw that there was a lot of bugs which meant that they're getting into the eggs you know the bugs are eating the eggs I knew I had to get the eggs out of there 